Good morning everyone and it is a very exciting day here. Uh, welcome to Celebration here in Orlando, Florida. We're just having a nice little Starbucks by the lake in our favourite town. It is Sunday morning, we've got a lovely Sunday market getting prepared. Uh, it is of course uh, Memorial Weekend as well, so you've got all the nice flag banners around. It's going to be a lovely little market today. We have done this before, so we'll link it in the description, the video of us doing that. But that's not what we're here for today. We're just grabbing a coffee. We're on the way to Cape Canaveral, of course, uh, to join Wonder of the Seas. We've got a seven-day cruise coming up on one of the biggest, best cruise ships in the world. We cannot wait. We've done one Royal Caribbean cruise before, which is a nice little three-day one on Independence of the Seas around the Bahamas. This is a whole new ball game. This ship is massive. The family are joining us. We've got a Starbucks on board, zip lining, all kinds. Some amazing stops as well in the Caribbean. Uh, also Coco Cay, uh, Royal Caribbean's private island in the Bahamas. All going to be coming up in the vlogs. We're going to be vlogging every single day. Uh, very, very excited. If you've been on this ship before, let me know down in the comments. But uh, we've got about an hour and 15 minute drive to Cape Canaveral. It's pretty easy. We're going to use the toll roads. Uh, it's a nice straightforward drive. So if you are going to be uh, thinking of getting a cruise or you're getting a cruise uh, from Cape Canaveral and you're staying here in Orlando or Kissimmee, it's not a hard drive at all. Uh, but we've not booked any parking, we're just going to turn up there and put in our credit card uh, like we did last time. And you can normally just park in the cruise terminal and it charges you a certain uh, amount per day that your car is in there. Uh, that's quite easy. Uh, we're all checked in online on the Royal Caribbean app. We've done all that process in advance. I'll talk a little bit about that later on. But we'll show you the whole boarding process. Get on yeah. board. Very, very excited, Laura, are you? Really, really exciting. I love the three day one, so I'm hoping the seven day one will be just as good. Yeah, this is a bigger, brand new ship. So this is going to be a different ball game to Independence. But I'm excited, very excited. Uh, we're going to enjoy our coffees in the sunshine here and then we're going to hit the road. So we're just going to slink on to the 417 toll. Now just to show you, going through these uh, toll yeah, booths, it's super yeah, easy. Um, so you can just go through the Sun Pass, it'll take a picture of your registration and that's all connected to my uh, card, credit card, with the car rental, so it'll just be charged through that. There is a service charge, I think $5 a day from the car rental when you use tolls, but on the days you don't use it, you don't get charged. But uh, it is dead easy, you just drive on through. And that's it, it'll charge me the card later on. We're gonna be on this for a little while now. It's uh, normally the toll roads as well, are a lot quieter and a lot quicker. So if you get a bit intimidated, I wouldn't be, because they're normally lovely and calm and quiet like this, a lot quieter than the other main free highways. But yeah, just thought I'd mention that. Most of it now, you don't really have to have coins and cash and things. It all just charges your card. Uh, you could buy a Sun Pass as well, works out slightly cheaper, but for us, I always just find it easier just to link the card, really, the more about topping it up and everything. So yeah, we'll uh, stick you on a little bit of time lapse in a bit and we'll uh, join you a bit further into the journey. Everton have got a win to stay up. We kick off in an hour and a half. So uh, we're going to try and catch at least the second half in the sports bar if we can. I've been told if you request a game, they'll put it on for you. So we'll see. Hopefully I can catch that last 
45 minutes. Hopefully we stay open and I can celebrate them. There she is, look at the size of her. There's a couple of big ones in. I can see, uh, I think that might be one of the big celebrities on the left, I think maybe. I can't click on that. That's well, that, that is, is big. But we yeah, are. Well, wonder is massive there. Yeah. Just coming over the last bridge, I think, last big bridge, and yeah. then. And here you go. So it is all signposted. Once you get nearby, they do put it on the big screens there, so you can see it says Wonder. So we're turning one, one to three, three, two miles. But it is all dead clearly signposted. So nice and easy. It's taken us about 45 minutes, 50 minutes to get here. Really it clear run. Seem like that long. Yeah, really. Uh, two miles. Clear run. Nice to and take easy. the George King Boulevard exit towards. Okay, so here we are at Cruise Terminal 1. So you just follow the signpost to your Cruise Terminal. You can see drop off for luggage and things, and then you'll see parking. We're gonna have to try and find out what the deal is with the parking. We normally just pull in, but we'll uh, ask and find out how we get in. There's the ship, it's absolutely ginormous, oh isn't it? Oh my God, that's a literal city. Ginormous, so let's just find out about the parking. So drop off is just there to the right. You can drop off your stuff before you park if you want. If you don't want to, you just drive straight up this ramp here. And then at the machine there, you just put your card in. It'll register and then it just charges your per day that your car is in here. This is literally right outside the ship. So you do pay a little bit more for this. You can do off-site parking, which is a bit cheaper. But uh, this is a little bit easier. And it's most convenient as well, isn't it? Okay, so it looks like they've set the system so it knows what you're parking here for. So it was $145 for the seven days that we're parking, uh, which, you know, it is what it is. It hurts a bit, but for the sake of dropping a car off, then picking another one up and things, I think it's definitely worth it. I mean, an Uber from Orlando to here would have been about $70 to $90 at least, plus all the luggage, then another one going back. So it is still cheaper to park and uh, that gives us a full uh, seven days. So it does must just register and know how long the, the cruise is that people are parking for, which is uh, quite handy really, isn't it? It's very clever, clever system. As soon as you pulled up, it just said 145 on the screen. So that'll be for the seven days. So I do like the way it's organized. They know exactly what you're coming to park for, exactly the amount. You just pop your card in and job done. Okay everyone, so we've parked upstairs, we've just come down the lifts, there are some lovely men here to help you put your bags onto the ship, there goes our case. Uh, now you do print off your luggage tags at home, yeah. uh, they send you them a couple of days before with your room number on and everything, print them off, you fold them and then you have to staple them. My mum was worried about stapling them, yeah. but the gentlemen there do have a stapler there for you, so they just staple it on, it goes on those trolleys. And the next time we see those, we'll be outside our room. Yeah. So what we've done is put all our important bits in a little bit of like uh, carry-on luggage. Yeah. I've got a rucksack with my stuff in. If you want to have a swim and stuff this afternoon, we can do. And then the rest of the luggage, you've not got to worry about it. You just drop it off with the lovely men and uh, you'll see it at your room next time. So we've got a little bit of things. I went quickly that, that quicker than it. I thought. That was a lovely quick drive. I think it's straight, no, like stopping at the Yeah, no, it's nice, isn't it? Dead easy, dead, dead easy. If anyone's worried about getting here, it's so, so easy. Really efficient. Uh, we can now wander around. Mum and Dad are in the little tiki bar around the corner, which is at the back of the ship. You get a nice view of the ship from there. Nice view, nice little, maybe a pre-cruise cocktail or Yeah. Fancy that, Laura? I enjoyed my key line the last time, didn't I? Yeah, you did, you did. So we got back to time. We check in at 11. We can get on the ship at 11. What time is it now, Laura? 10, Ten. so we've got an hour. So this is where you join onto the ship. Uh, there is different arrival windows. So uh, we are at 11. So I think we can arrive in the half 10 to 11 window. We're just gonna check. Okay, so quick security check done. Just scan your bags, check your set sail pass and your passport. Now we're up to uh, fully check in again. They do check your passport again upstairs to keep it handy. Yeah. But it's very smooth and efficient so far, isn't it? Yeah, but we're early, really early. I think yeah. they've put you in to get your time slots when it gets busy. Yeah. Right now, just like through, yeah. make it easier. I always try and recommend get that early slot if you can for the boarding times. Definitely go for an early slot if you can. Make sure you're ready to check in 
on the app when it opens. Uh, I think it's 30 days before. Make sure you're set and ready and join the groups as early as you can. Now we just queue in at the check-in desks just upstairs. I remember this from our last cruise. This is nice and easy. The staff are super helpful. We're just going to show the set sail pass. I think they do a quick health check and uh, maybe give you the room cards and things. There's the uh, card to get on the ship. It's, it is nice and efficient. Nice and calm in here as well. Plenty of seating around. The special assistance if you do need it. There you go. The world's newest wonder. There we go. We're all checked in, super easy, super friendly staff. Yeah. They checked our set sail pass and our passport again, checked the expiration dates on our passport. Yeah, just want to note that you do get an extra person to check outside the US passports, just to double check. Yeah, just to check them. And then we're going to wait now in this uh, little waiting area for our uh, boarding to be called. We're all checked in, we're all set to go, yeah. sorted. Excited, Laura. I do love how quick and easy the process is. Very quick and easy, very pleasant. Lovely air conditioned building, spacious, loads of great staff on hand to help you out. Yeah, and I wonder how they're going to call us in. Are they going to call us in by boarding group now or they're going like. I think it might be by boarding yeah. slot, we'll see. We'll see. We've got plenty of people waiting. So oh, each seating section is sorted by arrival window, so we can go right down to the 10 30, 11. Here we go, we're getting on. Dead quarter easy. It's only quarter past ten, yeah, and we're getting on. So we got lucky by coming in really early when it was quiet. I don't know whether it was working, it came just a little bit early. I think just a little bit. The, the, way, the woman was quite on it, just there. She was making sure no one was trying to shuffle over from the 11 o'clock slot. So you do have to be a little bit early is good, but I wouldn't come, you know, dead early if you're not in one of these early slots. And follow down, you can get your pictures taken as you're getting on. Uh, with some of these cool background shots. Okay, so it's been a bit of a hectic start, but it's been worth it. So we came straight onto the ship, yeah. straight down to deck Clearly. four, yeah. and uh, you come down into this area here. And if you speak to this lady here, she will help you at the box office there, book your shows. So the sheet comes like this, and then you decide what you want to do. So she's booked us in for the main ones. We went for the early slot, so she will ask you your dinner time, and then book the shows around your dinner time. We've got an early dinner slot. We'll mostly be doing the buffet anyway, so we've gone for the early yeah. uh, shows. You then go inside the little room, the little lady confirms it on the tablet. Very friendly Took staff. Us not even 10 minutes to get it all done, and yeah. it's just sitting down whilst you've done the computer bit. But come bit. straight here early because all of these shows are going to fill up. They will max out well, and you will miss day, out. The comedy show is in there and there's only 200 seats. Now that yeah. takes seven nights of four hundred wow. two shows. Wow. Yeah. Not enough. No, so it is so, a small venue. So any shows, early. that's why we wanted to get on the ship so early and get the early slot so we could get down here. And get these shows booked, yeah. which is exciting. I'm happy now. I'm relaxed now. Everything I wanted to do is done. I can feel your excitement and your I'm tension, really Laura. Excited. Breathe, relax. Book the station and then we can really, really okay, relax. calm. Your shows are booked. We're on. Now, yeah. Chill. I was stressed that we were going to be able to get the shows booked. I yeah. was a bit worried about that because it's such a big ship. But it's all done easy. I'm happy. Yeah, so definitely get yourselves down. As soon as you get on the ship, go down a level down to outside here, Studio B, go over to the box office and they will help you book yeah. your shows that you want to see. You can do it on the app, but our app wasn't refreshing. Our app, enough. they only gave a couple of seats out. They didn't really give much out. I think yeah. most, of the, most of the stuff is saved for when people get on board to book it. Yeah. Okay, so next job on the agenda to tick off is just doing the muster station. We are B1, which is right next to booking the shows, so super handy. Let's get this done and then we're sorted. But later on in this area, all of these balloons will come down. It's a really cool celebration to kick off the cruise. Oh, we've got a different, uh, couple of different Florida mugs. A big silver hat, karaoke bar. I just love the theme and it's incredible in here. It just does not feel like, I just feel like I'm in a shopping mall. I feel like I'm in Mall of Millennia or something like that. Incredible theming. Here's all you can get, all your drinks packages if you haven't already bought one. I think you might get a discount if you uh, sign up before the chip starts. You can get other different packages here, Wi-Fi as well. It's a really cool bar that goes up a couple of levels and then down again. I will show this a little bit later on when it's in action. 
Really cool place to sit for a drink that on a lift system. Just absolutely insane on here. Here's the Bionic Bar as well. Can't wait to have a go on that. That's where it makes uh, the robot machine makes your cocktail for you. It's another really cool feature. Here we go. I think they knew we were coming because Everton Bournemouth is one of the featured games on here. Bring it on, Laura. See you later. You're off the spa then. I'll just go to the <laughs> Well, just to introduce to you to the vlog, Catherine's here, Dean's here, and the rest of the family are here as well. They'll be joining us a little bit later on. Well, it really is a small world. We just bumped into a lovely set of subscribers on the ship here, outside Playmakers. It's just a small world, absolutely amazing. Thank you for coming and saying hello. I'm sure I'll see you again in the next seven days. Cool little picture opportunity, this one we're gonna get. With the uh, wonder of the seas here, Catherine's just spotted it. You got all the uh, little paintings underneath with the jellyfish. Laura's gonna stand underneath. You look a bit like a jellyfish, Laura. You'd fit well up there. You like jellyfish, don't you? <laughs> your outfit actually suits the pink slides. You planned that, didn't you? You planned that and you planned on having the Everton game on as well. Come up to deck 15 now to go into the wind jammer, which is one of our favorite buffets ever, isn't it? We love it in here. Windjammer Marketplace, the food on the last one that we did on Independence was incredible. We're really looking forward to seeing what's on uh, here. Last time I got a bit of a curry addiction, didn't I, on here? Yeah, the nice dip of curry every single day, and I think we're going to have to stay here. Yeah, but I've got to say, so far, the ship is just phenomenal. The decor, the theming, how new and modern everything is, how clean everything is, been amazing. I mean, they knew I was coming, didn't they, with the Everton? The one game they've chosen is Everton Bournemouth. What a game to have on. So we're going to have a little bite to eat, and I'm down there to watch that. Laura, where are you going? You gonna come with me? Nope. <laughs> and pass out. Chill out. So here's the little uh, hand wash station. I love the decor, it's amazing. So yeah, always washy washy. Washy washy, there you go, Laura. You missed that, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> it just gets stuck in your head all the time. Look at it. Love it, love the decor. Wish our kitchen was like this, Laura. We're gonna be spoiled for choice in here. This is just a bakery as you walk in. Oh, what are you fancying, Laura? Hot, cold? Hot food. But with Laura's gluten allergy, we have just uh, notified the staff and the chef has come to explain what is gluten free and what isn't for Laura. So the chef did come and explain exactly what was gluten free. There's a lot of options to be fair. Uh, we've got the desserts here. I've just been eyeing up all of these desserts. They look good, don't they, Laura? Oh, it's a kids section. Well, perfect for me then. Little mini sausage rolls, they look good. And then we've just been eyeing up. I think it's got to be a curry. It's like a tradition for us getting on the ship, Laura. It was uh, Madras today. We're going to have a little walk around and show you what else is on offer in here. These are the curries just here. These look good. We've got a beef Madras, a dal tadka. Never tried one of them. You've got all your fruit salads over here is the hot dogs and the burgers. These look good, smell good as well. Proper American burgers, mac and cheese, hot dogs, all displayed really nicely. There's all your salad. Have you noticed all of these carved, Laura? I think they're carved out of cheese. Carved out of cheese, yeah. Clever, isn't it? You've got different seats as well. You've got seating overlooking the uh, promenade and uh, the central park just down there. And then you've got window seating as well, looking out onto the view. You've got the carvery. What meat was on the carvery there, Laura? It's massive, isn't it? Beef goulash. Different bits of pork, barbecue chicken. Oh, Laura, you might like the barbecue chicken. Can you have that? That looks good, that. You see the size of the wedges as well? Oh, exciting. Here's the desserts as well. You know, I all love a dessert. You've got coconut cream puff, carrot cake, chocolate bar, and an apple pound cake as well. What's this, Laura? Can you build something here by the looks of it? Looks like you can maybe build, is that, you can put on top of your ice cream, is it? You've got cookies as well. Mm, you can put all the sauce and chocolate and Oreos on top of your ice cream. Looks good. Laura, what have we gone for so far then? You've got nice uh, veggies. Is yeah. that mash, is it? It's a bit of mash. And what's the meat? Beef. 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 It's a big piece of beef. I'm okay. That. Anything else with that, Laura, for now? Come back to the place and get a curry. That's the beauty of it, isn't it? You can go and eat that now hot and fresh. 
and then come back and get another hot and fresh curry or another hot and fresh something else. He's going to do that, going to get himself a drink of water, sit down. Relax, chill, have a bite to eat. Let's uh, see how you get on, right? Have a little curry, eh? Here is the Asian section. I'm going to be keeping an eye on this because I do like a bit of Asian food. You've got stir fry, uh, vegetables, rice, beef curry madras. Ah, okay, so this is similar to further round. Here they've got the poppadoms as well though. And that rice looks good, the garlic fried rice. And then all of our different sauces. You've got soy sauce, sweet chili. But yeah, any allergies at all, or you're vegan or anything like that, if you just ask them, the chef will come out and help you. How good those poppadoms look. And you've got the bar there as well if you want a, a drink drink. But yeah, any of the soft drinks on the buffet here, like those juices and the water and the coffee and the tea, that's all included. You don't have to have a drinks package for that. Uh, so we haven't paid for a drink package so far. I don't think we're going to, because I do like that juice. We brought our cans on board with us as well, which again, we'll discuss a little bit later on. Some more of the details. A little bit hectic when you first get on the ship. Once we've found our way about, we will obviously give you lots of uh, tips and tricks and help you out and explain exactly what we've done. The other thing you have got is the pasta station. So you've got the different sauces and the different types of pasta there as well. Looks nice and fresh. So I've just snuck up, got some more food. I've just got a beef goulash and a beef madras and just some chips and rice. And I've never had goulash, but Paul assures me oh, it's amazing. So I'm going to give that a whirl. See how it tastes. No, we're in the bar. We've got the full game on. Everton Bournemouth, last day of the season. Hey! Dad's joined us as well. Here oh, we go. Garvey's here. Garvey's here. That's nice, nice, really nice seating in here. Well, it's currently half time, but we're all pretty stressed out here, aren't we? Because Leicester are winning. As it stands, we're going down. We are. We we've got are. a big 45 minutes coming up. It's the unthinkable. <laughs> Everyone else is in holiday mode out there, loving life. Oh, we're in here, like, we're in here, stressed out. <laughs> so, you now join us a couple of hours later. Thankfully, Everton did win the game and stay up, which was great news. Uh, then, just been uh, chilling about. We did a little bit of a live stream as well. Struggled a little bit with the Wi Fi, but we did a little live. And uh, now, me and Laura have managed to come into our room. It was ready quite early. It was ready by. At one o'clock, they were ready by. Yeah, uh, they announced it over the tannoy. You could get in. Our bags have been waiting there as well, so they were already here, uh, which is fantastic. The room is spotless. It's stunning. You'll see it on the room tour, on the uh, ship tour. Absolutely stunning in here, isn't it? Gorgeous, Got everything yeah. you need. Got Definitely all of our layouts light. uh, for the ship, the full itinerary. Uh, Elroy did just come and introduce himself as well. Knocked on the door, introduced who he was. Our room attendant, he was a lovely guy. He said, would you like, you know, was to come into your room and do a, a turn down at night or would you rather us do it in the morning, which was nice. You had an option. Yeah. It was lovely. We've gone for the evening one. We like to come back to a nice, fresh, clean room, don't we? Yeah. But yeah, lovely guy. Lovely. So we're going to go up and uh, see the uh, sail away party now because we are starting to sail. We'll show you a little bit of that. We'll show you a bit more of the ship and uh, see where, see where the, the day takes us. It's a little bit all over the place. When you first board, it can be a bit... Full of, oh, got to get your room, and then you're looking at your room, and then you've got to get your bags, and then you're going to unpack, and it can be a little bit chaotic. The vlog's probably been a little bit all over the place because you're exploring things, you don't know where you're going. After a day or so, when you know everything is, you calm down, you know where you're going, you know what time it is, but when you first get on, you're excited, it's a bit chaotic, isn't it? Yeah, it is, because yeah. you want to get everything done, you want to get everything sorted out as well, all the important stuff. Yeah, getting in and we were worried about booking those shows, so everything's been a little bit chaotic, but we're on, we're done, we're sorted, we can go upstairs now and relax, I might even have a little chill in the hot tub, and then we'll bring you along with us. So we're just up enjoying the sail away here, very very busy on the top decks, everyone enjoying the views as we sail out to Cape Canaveral, you've got a great view from up here of Central Park down there as well, looks amazing, the two different pool areas you can see, the kids splash zone, 
We've got the live band up there as well. Brilliant atmosphere. Well, good to see you both to join us on the vlog. Nice, you know, matching shirts and all that. You all right? Mrs. Garvey. This is your done. your cruise, and you've been absent for your live stream. I, I, don't, I have to say, absent for joining the ship. I've, you know what I mean? I've so why do you remind me about the live stream? Well, we, we called you, and you were in bed, no, asleep. I was so yes, relieved that Everton stayed up. It went to the last kick of the game, oh, you know. And I, I, well, I had to have a med medicinal beer watching the game. I'm sure. <laughs> Mum, enjoying yourself, enjoying the sail away, enjoying the ship. Mark's yeah. out of the tank nice. for the shirt. Very Garvey. Very, very nice. Garvey, that one. How about Mark out of the tank for Dino? Dean, gone, gone, gone quite message. plain Jane. So are you. I'm sure you won't disappoint tomorrow, though. Excuse me. Or tonight. Excuse me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see, well, tonight. Tonight might oh. be that, you know. Things will change. Things will change. <laughs> it will get more and more uh, lively. Yeah, yeah looks it. Looks it. Oh, I, I like this, I believe you had a hand Yes, Andrew. Yeah, this. I did, helped you pick that. Enjoying yourself? Do you like the ship, Royal Caribbean? Best ship you've been on so far, or what? <laughs> I haven't even seen this much of it yet. And I don't right. think after a week, we still won't no, see it. No, but that's a good thing though, you can't get bored, can you? No, no, it's very busy. Yeah, we have picked a very busy time to cruise though. <laughs> well, hey, better atmosphere, vibes, parties. You know? Oh yeah, it's all going on, but it's not um, it's not rowdy though. No. It's busy, but it's no. not rowdy. There's no. a difference, isn't there? I remember when we set sail with um, Carnival. Carnival, yeah. And it was Carnival Liberty. That was that was a party cruise. That was. It was the booze cruise. We even had Cat in the Hat dancing by the pool and everything. <laughs> they were doing the conga. Yeah. As we left set sail. Yeah, I remember that. So we're just checking out the solarium with mum and dad. It is a little bit warm in here, I would say. There's no airflow at all. So it is a bit like a conservatory on a summer's day in here. Very, very warm, almost a little bit stuffy. If they had some windows that with a little bit of air blowing through would be a little bit more pleasant in my opinion. But I do love all the hot tubs and stuff in here, the little chill beds down there. And I do like that you get to look out at where you're going on the ocean. Yeah, it's just a little bit warm in here. Just needs a couple of little windows open. Would that really help things? It is really stuffy in here. Just uh, my opinion. But yeah, it's a nice place to have a little drink. Chill out, you've got day beds, chairs, sunbeds, a variety. You're not just stuck having a sunbed. If you want to sit down in a seat, you can do. If you want to sit in a pool, you can do. If you want to sit in the hot tub, all different seating. Going mum and dad around Central Park here. This is absolutely phenomenal, this area. So these are all real plants, real trees, lovely places you can sit and have a drink, relax. They have got the party going on upstairs, but it's just a stunning area to walk through. You don't feel like you're on a ship. You feel like you're in a, like a shopping center sort of vibe. Really nice. Something so different for a cruise ship. I've got to say, so far sailing away, you cannot feel a single vibration, a single thruster, a single motion of the, of the ship. It is so, so uh, flat and calm so far. Haven't felt a single vibration. There you go, there's the man watering the plants. So all real plants, nice restaurant here. Some of the restaurants, they are upcharge and you can pay or you have got the free restaurants as well. But yeah, this one here, you can pay to go in. Eat in Central Park, nice. Go on. Go on, you gotta do it now. So we've just come inside the park cafe, which is all included. This one, this is all snacks, sandwiches. You've got paninis, different little desserts. A lot of this was on the buffet earlier. Different little toasties and sandwiches. You've got soup of the day in here. All your drinks and coffees. And then a lovely place to sit as well. You can either sit inside the park at Central Park, where you can do the indoor seating here. It's a lovely place to come for a little snack and a chill. We've come up to Windjammer to see what's on the buffet, of course. You've got to do your washi-washi first. I love to see you in here. Really do like these patterns on the sofas and the patterns of the tiles. So yeah, uh, hand sanitization is massive. They've got the sanitizers everywhere, but you do have to wash your hands before going inside the buffet. We'll see what's on for dinner. 
have a little look, then we're going to have a shower, and then we've got our show at 7.30. Drag the hand wash station, Mum. I think it's a brilliant but, idea. Brilliant. I love the decor of it, though, as well, though. Yeah. You'd have your kitchen like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Stunning in here. Yeah. So just to mention with the hand washing as well, it is hot water and they give you a really decent amount of soap with the automated machine as well. So they don't skimp out, do they, on being safe and they, you, they do make you, if you, if you try and walk in without washing your hands, you will have a staff member politely come over and tell you to make sure you wash them. So do make sure you do that. Keep the ship nice and safe and clean. Let's see what's on tonight's dinner menu then. Starting off with Asian. Got the poppadons still, stir fried pork tonight, vegan soup, all your different sauces, same as uh, lunchtime, stir fried vegetables and chicken sarg. Each day they do have a burger of the day, so burger of the day today is a fiesta burger, then you can just build your own burger as well if you want to. Again, same as lunchtime, burgers, hot dogs, mac and cheese chicken fingers add all your different salads and stuff to it oh look at this a donut station for tonight look at these donuts oh yeah might be getting one of them in a little while methinks oh that one there look at that chocolate we've got corn dogs tonight and also collard greens as well corn on the cob oh more desserts what's this over here a red velvet whoopie pie, look at them. Boston cream pie, key lime pie, oh boy, I'm in trouble. Dark chocolate brownie and a royal cheesecake as well. Key lime pie, Laura. Oh yes. A bit of fried chicken and gravy. This is quite an American dish, this, with the biscuits. They call these biscuits like scones, chicken and the white sauce. That's quite an American dish. We've got uh, vegan spaghetti bolognese there as well. Now, if you want to go healthy, you've got a nice coleslaw salad. You can build your own salads here as well. All your different toppings available there. Well, I don't know what to go for tonight, everyone. I really don't know what to choose. It's a tough choice. Just to show you as well, there is another Mediterranean section, which has got all your different, again, salads, breads, different cheeses available as well. If you want more of a lighter dinner, different fruits. And then uh, this isn't open at the moment, but I imagine when it gets busy, they can open this whole other side as well. But when you consider how busy the ship is today, near capacity, this side isn't even open. That's how we're well organized and down they've got it on the ship. Well, I've got to sample everything. I've gone for the Boston cream pie, the key lime pie, and the red velvet whoopie pie. Got to give it all a try. That's what the guy said. Got to try everything, man. Sample it all. <laughs> he tried to wind Dad up. He came over with his brownie, and then he realised he needed a spoon. So he said to Catherine, "Come on, quickly eat his brownie before he comes back." <laughs> but the joke was on Catherine because it was dark chocolate, and <laughs> Catherine's feeling horrible. It's not like a slight fluffy brownie, it's a dead, dead, dead one. <laughs> Dad came over all smug and went, ah, well, it's dark chocolate. You got a key lime pie there and all. Oh, so is mum. Nice. I've got to say, the red velvet was a bit tasteless, but I am looking forward to the key lime. A bit seasick there, Dad, or is that just too much buffet? I mean, you've been to two buffets in a row. The ship is. You, you don't normally do dessert. You've got a key lime pie Whoa. sitting up here, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I think you. How much buffet did it's you have? Me, it is everyone feeling this. You had it? you had curry, salad, key lime pie, fish. chocolate brownie, fish, chicken stick. Are you sure. Uh, oh, two. Uh, oh no, one beef roll mustard sandwich thing. Am I missing anything? <laughs> I was only kidding about it. You sure you didn't? Why can't you? Well, I don't worry. She's filming me now. No, I don't feel well. Why can't you move your neck? Why can't you move your neck? Stop it. I told you to do the show. Yeah. <laughs> So just loving. Laura's getting ready. Just chilling. Listening to the sound of that room's lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's heaven. 
the sound of the ocean outside so relaxing we're now down at the royal theater to see the effectors 2 crash and burn hi uh, so we'll get to see what this is like the theater looks fantastic looking forward to seeing this managed to wangle our tickets when we got on board yeah, it's a nice little theater looks nice and comfy as well ship has become a little bit more rocky. Dad's struggling to adjust there with his sea legs. It's funny. You alright there, Dad? It's <laughs> horrible. <laughs> You're going to bed? <laughs> Okay, so we're now just chilling in the solarium. Nice up here, it is nice of an evening. I'm feeling dreadful. Dad's over there, he's feeling a little bit uh, worse for wear with the old sea legs. It does happen a lot on the first day, first night, you might feel a little bit sea leggy. It might be worth taking a few travel sickness tablets. I know Catherine's taking some quells. Yeah, we've got a box in our bag just in case. I'm feeling okay for now though, experienced cruiser you see. Well, me and my dad have experienced cruisers and they say any choppy days could just get drunk. Counter yeah, they say it counteracts your balance out if you just get more drunk, dad. <laughs> uh, in terms of the show, it was interesting. I thought all of the technology, the outfits, the effort, the drones, I thought that was all really good. Storyline was very cheesy, great very, for kids. Very, very, very cheesy. But I, I think each show is going to be very, very different each night. Yeah, and it, is, it, wasn't, it was a good show. It, it, it really worked up to the end, it really was good. Yeah. And I'm excited for the rest of the shows now because that isn't even the top show. No, I thought the, the drones are, in the particular drones were really amazing, good. Yeah. But each show that we're going to see tonight is going to be very, very different. So I think we've got an adult comedy club one night, we've got the ice show one night. Very, very different And the each water time. show, which everyone was all about one night. Yeah. yeah, so I'm really excited. So it was good, it was good. It was a bit of a cheesy storyline, but uh, we'll go with it. Are you going to become one of the, what were they, what were they called oh, again? The Effectors. The, the Effectors. Effect. I think I might sign up. Therefore, I'm going to be Effector of Life. <laughs> I reckon I look like Captain Viz. Captain Viz. Well, we all saw you coming out, didn't you? You liked the bionic arm when you came out that, <laughs> when you came out that uh, theatre. It was like that bionic cocktail maker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've spotted which hot tub I'm going in. Which one? That with the lift. <laughs> oh dear. Well, there we go, back in the room. We are absolutely knackered. What a day that was. Exploring the ship, getting our bearings. The uh, ship is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to show you the full ship tour. Uh, tomorrow it is Coco Cay, which is uh, Royal Caribbean's private island in the Bahamas. We have done that once before. We loved it. Excited to go back. Very hard to get any of the excursions on there, though. Everything was booked up pretty quickly uh, on the app and things months before. So uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, just have a nice chilled beach day. We'll show you all around Coco Cay, show you getting off. Uh, we're going to be up nice and early. We're docking at 7, so we're going to be up and off quite early. But yeah, overall, fantastic day that was. Enjoyed the food, the buffet. Let me know your thoughts on the ship. I'm sorry if it was a little bit chaotic, this vlog. Tomorrow should start nice and smoothly and we know a bit more about the ship now and what's going on. But uh, any cruisers will know that first day when you get on a new ship, especially oh, one this size, exciting, is it? not only exciting, but it, it's difficult finding your way around, knowing where things are, even when you've watched ship tours before. 
until you actually get on it and get your bearings. It's a different ball game. But yeah, we're going to hit the hay. Definitely going to go to sleep. There's a very, very, very slight sort of rocking that's just going to send me to sleep, to be honest. Absolutely knackered. But I hope you have all enjoyed it. Do make sure you hit the subscribe button. There is lots more vlogs from this full cruise coming up. We're going to vlog every single day. I might even do some live streams. So do hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, yeah, it's going to be it from us. Thank you very much. Cruise on. Bye, guys.